Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to talk about my favorite tripod. This is my favorite lightweight traveling tripod. It's by a company called Geotos, and it comes from HP Marketing. And the tripod here, with the head and a leveling base, weighs 3.8 pounds. With the case, this adds another pound point two. So this tripod, what I love about this, you just undo this, and you're ready to go. And the same here, just undo all three. So it's very fast working, it's carbon fiber. The model number is, I can never remember it, MT8250B, and they've changed the number to MT8250. That's the newer model of this. And what I've done with this is I've added right here, let me take this off, the head off, from a company called Acrotech. They make what's called a leveling base. And I really like a leveling base because that makes it a lot friendlier to work with because what I do is I just level the base. Just easy to show you here. <clears throat> it's got a bubble level right here. So the base is all level. Then here's my head. And it's the Acrotech head. Now this Acrotech head is called the GP ball head. And what I like about this head is it's got a leveling base here, a leveling on the head rather. So I could level the head also. So since I've leveled the base and I've leveled the head, there's a little knob right here. You can rotate it so that when you've got your camera set up, you can actually move the camera, and I'll show you in a sec, so that it remains level as you're panning a little bit in case you want to change your composition. So there's just basically two controls on here. This one's for the tightness of the ball, which I just leave. This one, this knob is for setting your ball head and then just leveling it. And the little knob over here is for panning. And on the bottom of my camera, I've got a little adapter plate from Acrotech also. And you've got the little adapter, the arc adapter, so it just fits right on here. Before you let go, make sure it's locked in. And now, when I've got my camera set up, I can actually pan it a little bit in case I see something on one side of the composition and the camera still remains level. And the only thing you have to be careful of with these lightweight, let me just lock this down here a second. Oh, it's not tight, not, okay. Now, the only thing you have to be careful of with these lightweight tripods are you really never want to leave the camera or go a very far distance because if a wind comes along, it's going to blow everything over. So you want to make sure you put something, there's a little hook down here. You can attach something here a little weight of some kind or your camera case so that it won't catch over. But as I say, it's very important, never go far from your camera because if a sudden wind comes up, it's going to blow your camera over. So I love this setup because I can pan the camera and I can set up my, my picture exactly how I want. And it's great for lightweight cameras like the Shinho PTB, the 4x5 camera, which weighs 3 pounds, or a camera like the Canon 4x5 DLC which weighs 4 pounds 10 ounces. So it's good for really lightweight cameras and a lightweight setup. It's fairly small for traveling. It'll fit in a suitcase or for backpacking. And as I say, it comes in a nice case, which is included. So as I say, this is like my favorite tripod for traveling. I hope this video helps. Just showing you one of the things that I like to use. Thank you again for watching.